coming up this week on Archer's Choice. What are you doing? I'm getting ready for this week's show. Why? Well, because proper practice promotes perfect placement. And this week, we're up in BC. Yeah, at Trophy West Outfitters. On a boat hunt. With Glenn. Remember we went up there, we stayed on that big tugboat, was converted to a houseboat? Well, this is the closest boat I got to that. Yeah, that's his tugboat. This here's my little dinghy. <laughs> this week's lucky logo is Stealth Cam, so watch hey, for Stealth Cam logo. don't forget about Stealth Cam. I know, I said Stealth Cam, thanks for the help. I really appreciate you goofing out off the, out there. Yeah, this is about the size of my tugboat. Okay. Anyways, don't go anywhere, we got a great show. Not really sure how this is gonna end though. Ah, yeah, oh, baby! baby. Oh, would've been yeah. great if you would've just flipped Turn over, down. wouldn't it? Yeah, Psh. Ultimate. Our final flight to Campbell River, BC, Vancouver Island. Hmm. We're getting close, real close. And look at Tony, this is the first time he'll be on a little plane. A How do you nervous. feel, Tony? I'm a little feel? nervous. Why are you nervous? I just had to go in the bathroom for the 15th time. <laughs> One more flight and we're on land, thank God. No, we're on water. I mean, we're on water, even worse. <laughs> Three packs of Dram and me, I'm ready to go. Oh yeah. Well, you know, we, we love all types of bear hunting. Bear, you know, bait hunting, spot and stalk. We haven't done dogs, but we'd try it. And the crazy thing is, is when you are on a spot and stalk hunt and you're living on this boat, this, you know, I'm not even sure if you call it a ship. Who knows? I'm from the Midwest. You're in this giant ship, 72 foot, the tugboat that they turned into this yacht. You know, I, you, I, I feel like Hugh Hefner. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I mean, it's just unbelievable. You're going in and out of these inlets, and I mean, you're watching bears. You're, you have porpoise or dolphins swimming with you. You look up, and you have mountain goats up along the mountains. And I mean, it's just, it's absolutely, you have bald eagles flying over. Oh, and by the way, also during all of this is you're dropping traps for prawns and crabs and, you know, oysters, and the guys are fishing for halibut. And yeah, definitely roughing it. Well, we're loading up the truck, we're going to go and have some breakfast, and then off to the boat we go. It's kind of exciting, we're talking about bear hunting, getting us all psyched up inside of the house there, and we're just going to hope and pray that the rain holds off and we get some big bruins down. We're going to be bearing down in B.C. This is home for the next few days. The ultimate bear hunt. I have to say though, I think my favorite hunt is this bow hunt, the boat hunt. They have a huge 72 foot tugboat converted into a houseboat. And you're out there, you're sleeping on it, you don't have to go back and forth, you know, from the boat to the truck, back to the lodge, you just stay on this boat, you jump on the little grizz, you go, you start glassing all these little bays all over the place, try and look for those little black spots. And as you get closer, those black spots get bigger and bigger and they become these big, enormous black bears that are just roaming around on the shores as the tide is out, trying to find crustaceans and crabs and stuff like that to eat. It's an amazing trip. So Matt, we're on an incoming tide, and the wind's about the worst it's going to get to be right now, and then dropping off. Later on this morning, yeah, it was dropping off. The system's going through. So it should get a lot better for everybody here. Good, Another four or five hours. So maybe we'll, we'll, we'll cook everyone breakfast and then we'll uh, depart and head for, for Hoya. Okay. Make our move up the inlet and uh, we can, can hunt the inside the inlet there, areas we haven't got to uh, this year. Be good. We've got more spotting and stalking coming up. Don't go anywhere, right here on The Archer's Choice.
all know we bear hunt. I mean, we love to bear hunt in the spring. It, it's just, it's way better than turkey hunting. <laughs> <laughs> but and one of the neat things about Trophy West, though, seriously, oh, is goodness. they have two different types of hunts. You can stay out on the big boat like we did, the yep. tugboat, which was converted to the houseboat. Which has to be considered probably the ultimate bear hunt. It is, because you're sleeping out on the water all the time. You take the little grizz out, looking for, for bears. You know, he starts glassing them, and then you go in and you try to get, you know, getting up on one. And you know what else, too? I want I get motion sickness. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, but on the big boat you yeah. didn't. No, and it was amazing. Not at all. Because I was, I was so nervous about getting sick on the boat, and it, it was nothing. No, it, it was and really it, nice. What are you and doing? nothing. Nothing at all. Give me the paddle. Come on. So, ooh, I almost fell in, too. Oh, Vic. <laughs> so, anyways, let's just keep going on with some of the bear footage, because otherwise he'll just keep talking all day long. Do you need some help? They had us, they, they told us we had to go across the White River. They had us go from the top of this hill, or mountain, I guess, it's a cliff. We had to go straight down this cliff, hop on this little blow-up boat, go across the White River really fast, and, and David had to paddle real fast because they said if you went too far, it wasn't human friendly. I'm guessing there might have been some bigger rocks and rapids going on. Get to the other side of the White River, and then climb straight back up. I mean, they had ropes attached for us to pull ourselves back up. Now. If I'm carrying my bow, it's one thing. I have it on a sling and my backpack, not a big deal. But Zendel and Ralph, they were carrying camera gear. And then we went back over there again for Ralph. And that was a lot of physical. I felt like I was on an elk hunt rather than a bear hunt. is we're just slowly going to work our way into the wind in that direction and we're basically still hunting for black bears. Okay. So we'll have to be pretty quiet and judging by the amount of sign that's out here, should be a bunch something. of bears using it. So hopefully we can find one we're interested in. Okay. The first afternoon we were over there, we had the sow. She come in, she got about nine yards from us when she finally spotted us and she decided that she didn't like us anymore and she took off running. but. I mean, I had the opportunity. I'm the one that turned that bear down, realizing that it had kind of a pinny head. Her ears were kind of uptight, and we realized that she was a sow, so we let her go. 20 yards. It's going to get her set. Gone. Well, was that close enough for you? I think that's close enough for me. Yeah. That was a close encounter. We got very close encounter. That was cool. Nine yards. Nine yards. <laughs> that was cool. All right. I'll go do back you, and do, grab our backpack. Do you think the, the shoulders were kind of, they're not, it's not a full, if it's a bore, it wasn't a, a grown. Yeah, like it, 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 was narrow, it looked narrow front shoulders. Kind narrow of like, through the front shoulders, and then as a result, you get that hackle standing yep. up on the back. And that's so, usually like a sign of a sow or a young boar. Yeah. I find even if you see and it looks like it's got a real nice head, if it's got that hackle on it, you're usually disappointed. When you get it, okay. Yeah. That was still really cool. Nine yeah, yards. that was awesome. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. There's a lot of different arrow rests out on the market. Today we're talking spotting and stalking. Now if you happen to have just a regular drop away arrow rest like this one, they do make sticky that you can go ahead and sticky arrow holders that you can go ahead and put on that arrow rest to help you out. Just make sure that you go ahead and you put some felt or some moleskin on your riser to stop any kind of tinging. Now one of my favorite rests though is the NAP scissor rest. It doesn't matter if I'm spotting and stalking or hunting from a tree stand, whatever the situation is, I love my scissor rest. It's a full containment drop away arrow rest. You put your arrow in, go full draw. As soon as you release that arrow, your scissor rest is gonna open. You're gonna have clear, no touching whatsoever on your arrow and your flight's gonna be awesome. Again, we do go ahead and put felt on our risers just in case you're going to quickly go ahead and knock a second arrow or anything. You want to make sure you don't have any extra noise going on. Another great rest is the Apache rest here. It's another drop away containment rest. On the inside of this containment rest, you have foam to help any of that clinging around. But again, we put our felt or our moleskin on our risers just to make sure that it's as quiet as possibly as we can make it. That's your Bowhunting World Tip of the Week. Don't go anywhere because we come back. 
We're back on Vancouver Island with Trophy West, Spot and Stars and Black Bear. The crazy thing is, especially spotting and stalking, is you know a lot of people may not think that you could have as many opportunities. That's why you know that's why bait hunting is so popular. But I'm right. here to tell you, with Trophy West opportunities you could have numerous opportunities every day and they are very particular on the bears well yeah and there's so many different big cuts and slashes up from the timber companies up there oh that i mean you're able to glass a lot more and because of the mountains and the elevation you can glass or sometimes like in alberta and some of the other you know provinces across canada it's so flat land you don't have the opportunity and you don't, and you you don't have really the advantage anything. to be able to go ahead and glass for that so it's really kind of cool I mean, we did some physical work, Which too. was awesome. You know, I mean, we did a lot of hiking up and down. We we crossed the rivers. I mean, yep. we, we actually used the inflatable boats to get it across. It was bigger than this. It was. It was. Okay, so now so what? Let's just, let's go and paddle and remember trophy rest. You, you paddle on the other side. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is, this is bad. We got it, we saw this big bear. He looked like a good boar. We got set up on him. We figured, okay, he's gonna, he's feeding towards us on this green grass that's growing up on this, I guess it's an old timber road is what it is, but there's all this green grass growing up on it. And so we get set up and he's coming closer and he's less than, he's about 30 yards from us and he's just, he's coming out and all of a sudden there was this noise. And I wouldn't rat anyone out at all. I mean, Z would never know that the log that he leaned on was rotten and would make a crack or anything like that. That bear took off. <laughs> Beautiful boar. He heard us rustling a bit and he was coming up to check it. Yep. And then uh, we had one larger rustle and he didn't yeah, like the sound of that. something else down below. Did you hear that? Yeah. 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 Well, what do you guys call this line? Uh, bear heaven? <laughs> bear mania? I'm not sure what Glenn calls it. I call it good. We spotted a bear and we knew that we had to get over to where he was at. So, I mean, we hurried, we got over there as quickly as we could and we got up, we had to climb up another hillside. We got set up and we know the bear has to be somewhere close. We didn't realize how close this bear really was. If we had gotten there a couple seconds, a couple minutes earlier, we'd have known that I'd been able to shoot straight down at this bear where he was at. Unfortunately, that's not how it worked. He already was coming up. He was within four yards of us. The only shot I had, I was already full draw, the only shot I had would have been face on, which wasn't gonna happen. And as soon as he saw four things standing there, he realized he was in the wrong spot at the wrong time. And the next thing that was in my true glow sight was his back end running away. I'm telling you what, those are close encounters and that's why I love spotting and stalking black bears. You know, that's what happens. I had him at less than 10 yards and he came up on that little knob there and quartering to me and as soon as he turned he turned and ran and it's a good bear Glenn's figuring about 6'6 six, six. he was close gosh that was fast don't go anywhere we've got more spotting and stalking black bears on Vancouver Island right here on the Archer's Choice okay so we've had enough encounters darling yep I think it's time to well experience what Trophy West and the ultimate bear hunt is about. That's right. Let's go to where you and your dinghy. My little dinghy. And see what happens. Let's set it up a little bit just so you guys understand what happened. We were actually filming Glenn on the front of his boat, on the front of the big yacht, I should say, the big houseboat. And what ended up happening was we saw a bear on the shore and we just went made in the dinghy happen. and we made it we're happen. Glassing. I'm like, I'm, look, I'm going like, hey, that looks like a good bear. That's a great bear. And then it was like Chinese Ooh. fire drill, run around the boat, try to get everything ready, hop in the boat. And believe it or not, it actually worked. 
check this one out. <laughs> We were out doing some filming, just filming the big boat that we were staying on and the little grizz and all the stuff. Well, Ralph spots a bear walking along the shoreline and we'll start glassing it and we realize that it's a good bear. So we kind of scramble around and hurry up and get into the dinghy. Of course, you know, I'd like to call Ralph a dinghy, but we actually got into the boat, which was the dinghy. And so the dinghy was in the dinghy and we went towards shore and the wind was just perfect. I mean. I guarantee you it wouldn't always happen this way and this bear was meant to be Ralph's because as we go in, he, Matt turns off the motor, takes the motor out of the water, Glenn is telling Ralph, you know, he's, he's you know, ranging the bear for him because we're floating out there. That bear, Ralph goes full draw and I'm filming the bear through his bow and his quiver. I mean, it was such a cool experience. It was amazing. Like we said, this boat hunt is the ultimate bear hunt. There's the ship, we're in the dinghy. It's 100% legal, what you do is, you sometimes when those bears are on the shore and the wind's not in your favor, Glenn has figured out to come in with the dinghy and you just float it across. With the engine off. With the absolute, with the engine off. And sometimes if the current keeps you, it's perfect. Sometimes it might pull you out and that's it. That's the chance you take. But we just pinned that guy at about 35 yards. Yep, right on the money. And he's, we braxed him, baby. <laughs> yes, yes. Good blood. Yep. There he is. Right over there. Yes. Oh, 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 buddy. Nicely done. <laughs> Nicely done. Yes. He's all balled up. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Coastal black bear, baby. Wow. What can you say? You know, we have hunted black bears all over the place. Two years ago, we were here, yeah. and we witnessed an incredible adventure. This year we're back and Glenn, to, to, hunt, to spot and stalk black bears here with you guys at Trophy West, I, I don't know what to say. You have the potential of shooting a bear here with you guys that just will dwarf majority of the places. And I mean, just the experience, mountain goats, porpoise, seals, we're crabbing, we're prawning, we're eating all this stuff. I mean, we're sharing all this and, you know, to, to be here with Glenn and, and Dave and, and I mean, just, buddy, he, he gave us a perfect shot and everything. You made it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> a yes. different type of a stock. But, yes, uh, it's a... Uh, it's not that we haven't done it before. No. And, and what's cool there is because you have a lot of these bears that are on the shore yeah. and there's absolutely no way to get to them, you know, with the wind or whatever. And what you do is you bring up the little boat and you, you turn the motor off and you just hopefully, I mean, if the current pulls you out, it pulls you out because yeah. you can't start, you can't, you're done. Half, half the time it doesn't work, Ralph, in yeah. all honesty. Today with the wind we had, the only approach, only approach we had possible was to go in way ahead of it. And we went in uh, like at least 150 yards ahead of it and, and yep. just let things float along the engine off yep. and just let it just draw, drift right in there and it worked perfect. And it oh, worked. What a shot. Nobody gets to shoot at a rubber boat. I mean, we get to shoot at a rubber boat. <laughs> what a hunt. What an adventure. Oh, my gosh. Good work, pal. I can honestly tell you that was probably the most unique ultimate bear hunt I've ever, it I've was, ever it was experienced. It was so much fun staying out on the boat with all that stuff and all the... I mean, we saw so many bears up there. I mean, Glenn, oh everyone gosh. up there, thank you so much for Guys, a great thank hunt. thank you so much. I mean, it was just... We really appreciate it. Now... And Shannon. Wow. Everybody. Now, if you happen to see the Stealth Cam Lucky Logo, yep. what are they doing? They're logging on to archerschoice.com. Go to Lucky Logo, hit the button, you know, tell us where you saw the logo, and one of you are going to win some Stealth Cam stuff. And you're going to have a camera that, well, can tell you what's there when you're not. Yeah, his slogan going isn't going so well today, I think. I think maybe it's, too much sun the in the heat boat. coming off the water. Next week, we're going to go elk hunting at Sierra Vista. Oh, yeah. We'll see if I can finally get that monkey off of my back. Right? Yep. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much for watching Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.